Yo, what up guys? You know who I am. Uh, I just wanted to start out and say something really funny. This is the second time I'm shooting this scene because I literally edited my entire video in front of me and Wong watched it and she was like, dude, you look so bored. And like literally I was talking to the camera like this and like this video is scripted. I have some ideas what I want to say and I realized like don't just read off the script. BT dubs. Anyways, I just wanted to, well, let's just jump into it. Oftentimes, we're expected to do certain things, especially in our society, there's certain expectations of us. Uh, from the moment we're born, until we become adult, until we die, there's an expectation for us to follow this path. The path goes something like, you go to school, you get good grades, you graduate, you go to college, you do the same thing, you get good grades, you graduate, you get a job, you get married, you buy a house, you have a family, you work hard, you retire, and then you die. Or then maybe there's something you do after retire, like travel. But that's about it. And many, for many of us, that's, that's exactly the path we want to follow, and that's fine. But me being my father's son, uh, who loved to be different, I'm the same way, I love to be different. <laughs> and I was like, nah, dude, I don't want to do that. And that's perfectly fine. But for a lot of us, it's hard to know what we can do or what the options are besides this standardized path of like getting this job and working for somebody else yada 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 and that's really scary for a lot of us for a lot of us it's about you know we 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 know it's it's an unknown what well, what's gonna happen when we step out of here you know and then on top of that all of society and even the people around you might be like well why are you why are you doing this like what exactly is like what's the goal like what so you sure you want to do this it's a little bit risky but I've kind of come to the conclusion that like well the world is is going in a different path from my parents generation and there's not really job security or retirement security going forward so we kind of need to just embrace the fact that like we'll be working till we die so you might as well be doing something you love and you don't need to work for somebody else or for some big international corporation or whatever you can do whatever you want uh, you just need to have a plan so anyways, I'll jump more into it, but first, let's go somewhere else. Please excuse this intermission of our video for the Sony event. Sony is in Hanoi, so I decided to sign, well actually, Leo helped me sign up, so we're gonna check this out. So enjoy the next few seconds, let's take a break from our topic. So we were in and out of there in like 10 minutes. Way too much Vietnamese. I didn't understand anything. Uh, they were playing Crash Bandicoot racing or something. I don't know, it was super loud. People trying out the new cameras, but I love my camera, so I didn't really want to try it and wait in line. TVs, I don't care about. PS4 was cool, some games they were showing off, so that was neat. Phones, I don't care about, so in and out. Nothing that we wanted was on sale, so yeah. Anyways, back to the video. The biggest gift you can give to people is your time, right? Money you can get more of, things you can buy more of and whatnot, but you can't give people more time. So you gotta do that risk versus reward of working for somebody else, especially if it's a job you're not ultra passionate about. You know, is it really worth it for you to work all this time in the hopes that you'll have the money in the future to travel? Because you might not. It's just something you gotta keep in mind. So after I graduated school, I got an office job just like everybody else, believe it or not. I worked for like an online company, kind of like Amazon, but smaller. Uh, it was actually pretty sweet. They paid me $30,000 a year. I had flexible work hours. I had vacation. I had uh, lunch every week. We had a gym. And there's a bunch of cool people to work with. But uh, I ended up quitting after a year because I just felt like I was going in this hamster wheel, you know? Just like not doing anything. Especially after I traveled abroad in Rome. Like, I realized I want to travel and work in an office is counterintuitive. It doesn't get me towards my goal. You know, you're supposed to take steps towards your goals, but if I'm working in an office, like, I'm never gonna make those strides or that opportunity to be able to do what I wanna do. So it's something I really had to think about, and I was like, well, the travel is the most important thing, so let's get out of here and do that. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I did. I applied for jobs online, and, yeah, it's 
kind of the story. Anyways, I gotta go to work. I'll catch you guys in a minute. Do you like the change of scenery? I had to make a video at work. I was trying to record some stuff with the kids, but it's been crazy busy today and everybody's been super like chilled out. So it's kind of almost boring to add that. So anyways, where were we? What's, what's, the, what's the purpose of this story? Like I had to realize at that point in my life in my early twenties, like what I really want from life. And if you guys have the chance now to really think about what you want and try to find ways to mat, to get, reach those goals. And that's where like the main focus comes of that intro is like prioritize yourself, find out what you want. Like you don't need to go party with people. You don't need to get involved with things if you're not into them. You need to focus on whatever you want to do. And if you know what you want to do from an early age, you need to chase that. I did it. I wasted it in college. So don't do what I did, but instead find your passion. If you find it early, focus on it, it'll work. You'll make it happen, you know? Because remember, you're the most important person in your life. Just like I'm the most important person in my life. Your family will always love you and your friends, if they're real friends, they'll always support what you're doing. There's a quote I read that really reminded me, kind of gave me the idea for this. It was, I will not set myself on fire to keep you warm. So what it means is focus on yourself first. Don't hurt yourself for other people. You know, you don't want to sacrifice yourself for those who are around, who might not care as much as you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're all people pleasers, at least I am. And it's important to remember, like, I don't need to please everybody. I just started saying no when I hit like 27. And I was like, nah, dude, I ain't doing that. So there's only two important rules I say to follow. Two questions to ask yourself. Are you hurting anybody else? And are you hurting yourself? If the answer to both of those is no, then you can do what you're doing. Because I'm not looking at this YOLO nonsense. I do not believe in that. Yeah, so that's it. That's a little story for you. Hope you enjoyed, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. And let me know what you thought about the intro as well. I'll see you in the next one. Yo, guys. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit different style of video that we've made. And uh, I wanted to really try to get down and chat with you guys about like what's going on. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked. Check out a uh, look around here, Take a, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and check out some other videos. This video is the first of what I would consider a tips series, but there's gonna be more coming. If you wanna see more of the vlog, there's a vlog. If you have short videos you wanna watch, I have a two minute Tuesday. I just had a really cool video about the Vietnamese wedding we went to last week, so you can check that out. And in general, look at the channel, see if there's anything you like. Comment down below on any, anything you wanna hear about or anything in the, for, in the future that you'd like to hear. And, yeah, just let me know, but thanks for checking it out and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.